In this video, we're going to continue on with our flashlight, and we're going to actually make it so we can turn it on and off. So this is not going to be replicated as of yet, but we want to have the functionality there so we can easily do so. So we want to have that handled in our uh, toggle flashlight function, and pretty much all we're going to do is set it up so that spotlight component gets toggled, and that's pretty much it. So what I mean by that is flashlight, what was it? No, spotlight component, uh, set hidden in game, that's going to be true or false. So we want to use B, light on. So we're going to actually copy this, get rid of all that, and paste it. So think about it. So if the light is on, we want to set it hidden in game to true, and then we want to toggle B, light on. So B, light on equals the opposite of B, light on. So the light is on, so B, light on is true. Let's say we want to turn it off, so we go through, we set hidden in game to true, and then we turn our B light on variable to false. So next time, the light is off, so B light on is false. So we want to turn it on, so we set hidden in game to false. So it turns it on, just literally like that. So I'm going to go ahead and compile here, and give that a quick little try. So let's go ahead and launch it. And what I'm curious about, I don't know if calling that on the server has any effect. I don't think it's replicated down at all. Let's go ahead and shine the light. What was it, F? So I can press F, and it turns it on and off. Run over here on the client. I'm kind of curious if the client sees it. No, he does not. So that is good news. All right. Turn it off on the client, and the client works as well. So we have our functionality literally set up right here. Now what we want to do is we want to make this an on rep. So pretty much it's going to call a function that we create whenever it changes. So when we change it on the server, it's going to get changed on the clients where it's relevant. So this is how it stays in sync. So the same thing that we did with get lifetime replicated props, we're going to copy that right on over and do it right below begin play change a flashlight character to a held flashlight. Get rid of the condition because we want it to be everywhere. Set the variable to be light on. And now we have to include Unreal or no, it was net Unreal Network.h to fix this on up. And we can also, what we can do is go ahead and because we did this in Blueprint, we can do B set, or was it just, no, it was B replicates. We're gonna go ahead and set that to true as well. So that way, by default, it's already replicated. Now, we need to set B light on to replicate. So just like before, we do U property. We're gonna do replicated, except we're gonna do replicated using, and we need to create our on rep function. So we're gonna do view function, all on reps are going to be a u function void on rep underscore light toggled let's paste that in and create the implementation which for some reason is way up here so here's our on rep so we're pretty much going to be doing the exact same thing inside of it so we're going to set the spotlight component to be hidden in game based on be light on and this is going to stay kind of in sync so we don't really have to you know worry about it too much but what i'm going to do is in our server toggle flashlight implementation i want it to go ahead and call toggle flashlight again because i want it to just simply handle it in here which will then trigger the on rep so we can actually so this way it stays in sync entirely we're not going to call the on rep because we're handling this on the server as well. So we're going to do that check and change up here. So let's start with, uh, yeah, let's just start if we're on the server. So keep it simple. So if we're on the server, perfect. All we have to do is do the same thing. So we're going to do it ourselves. So spotlight. Actually, we can simply call on rep light toggled and then just do B light on equals the opposite of B light on. Wait a minute. 
think I just got myself a little bit confused here. So we're going to do kind of the same thing, but the opposite on the server. So that equals the opposite of B light on because it's getting changed. Or is it? I am confusing myself. We're going to leave it like that for now, and then this will trigger the on rep. So let's go ahead and just confirm that this actually works. So I'm going to go ahead and close down the editor, build it real quick, and then we're going to just test it. Okay, now let's see what happens. Move the client over here, move the server over, so the server can see it, turn it off, on, and as you can see, it is out of sync. So let's double check on the server, make sure that's still going as correct. So it's just out of sync. So what we're going to do is do the opposite of B light on. So that should kind of fix that up there. Hyperload works. Let's look at it. Off, on, off, on. So it's replicating to the client just fine. Now we have to do the client because, well, obviously there's a, kind of an issue there. If we, if we don't have the server, well, if we're not on the server, we can't replicate it. So what we're going to do is call server toggle flashlight. And at the same time, we also want to kind of do the same deal here. So we want to build a toggle it ourselves. And that's going to lend us to a slight issue of when it runs on the server. This is also going to get triggered on the owning client. So what we're going to do, because we own this flashlight, we're going to add a condition. But I want to show you what I'm talking about first. So hopefully it makes a... A little bit more sense. Let's give it a try. I press F. We are good to go. It's replicating. Or maybe we don't need it. I'm thinking I may have missed something kind of simple here. Let's check real quick. Here's the client. Shots a flashlight, so I can see a little bit easier. Maybe my logic was just a little bit off. So, yeah, that does keep it in sync, so never mind, actually. Anyways, one thing we can still do if we wanted to, we can actually go through and set this to skip the owner, because the owner doesn't really need its state replicated. However, it's probably, eh, I guess for something like a flashlight, it doesn't really matter. But, yeah, it doesn't really matter for a flashlight. So what I mean by skip owner is, if you recall from our character here, we replicate the flashlight only to the owner. Whereas here, we can skip the owner, so it's not replicating to ourselves, but it replicates to everybody else. Now, there are some advantages to that, and there's things that you would want to not do this for, such as ammo. So that way, the server always has authority over the ammo. You can stay in sync with that. Uh, flashlight being on and off isn't really a game-breaking thing if it's out of sync, but it's probably a good thing just so you can make sure you stay in sync with other clients, so there's no chance of you really coming out of sync. We'll leave that like so, and pretty much our replication logic is actually already done, so we're, we're good to go there. There's not really anything else to do, and we are done via code. So in the next video, we're going to actually go through and try to, well, we're going to make the animation for the upper body. So that way we actually have an animation for us holding the flashlight. And our, uh, our mannequin, so we're going to hold it kind of above our shoulder in the right hand, just above our head. Or not above our head, but right beside our head. And that is going to be it. So because of the way we're going to do that, we are going to need to have some kind of replicated boolean, or not a boolean, but we are going to probably want to replicate flashlight in hand to everybody else because this is what we're going to be using to actually control that. So that's going to dictate whether or not we're playing the animation to have the flashlight in our hand. So that's going to be it for this video. And if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a dedicated Patreon series where we create Team Deathmatch in C++ using Unreal Engine. 
And we also make a bunch of other miscellaneous features that you might find interesting, such as a weapon customizer and all that. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord down below as well. And I or someone else will try to answer your questions to the best of our abilities. So, I'll see you in the next video.